Hello again. Uh, it's been a while. Um, just wanted to let you all know that I just finished my latest project. Uh, it was a workbench. If you watched my last video, you would hear me complaining about how I don't have any decent workspace in my garage. Decided to take care of that. Uh, the plans I got from was from a website called WorkbenchMagazine.com. Uh, I'll post the link on my uh, description below. But it's a free PDF file. You can download it. And I built this bench uh, using nothing but a table saw that you can buy from Sears or Home Depot or wherever. Um, but uh, I was quite pleased with how it turned out. Unfortunately, I'm not going to show you how I built it step by step, but I'll just show you some pictures of the build process I did. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. And I hope I inspire people to make things on their own. I actually enjoy it. It's a real nice hobby to have, and it's not made in China. So take that. Later. Now, as you can see, uh, this was a basic layout of the workbench. I actually opted to build it without the drawer case, which was a nice option in the plans. I thought it was really neat. Uh, probably might build it later on. Um, I plan to add the power strip later. But the plans are pretty much simple, uh, straightforward, and it was a very easy build process. Again, all you needed really was a table saw and a, and a drill. Uh, the pieces here are laid out. Um, the piece up front and the third one behind or third one up are the spanner legs. They won't stretch across the forward and back part of the workbench securing the two uh, side panels together which are the big pieces in the back. Uh, the second piece and the one below the side panels are the spanner pieces on the top that secure the uh, top of the workbench to the rest of the base. And the little piece is just a, a little support that went across the two uh, top pieces. Uh, they're all cut out using the table saw. Uh, the grooves were made using the table saw. The depth was set with a square and ruler. And I was just made multiple passes until I had the width desired for all the pieces to fit. Uh, very simple process. Took me you know, a better part of the day to cut all this stuff out. Here's all the pieces being fitted together uh, before final assembly. Uh, there was very little adjustments needed. Um, everything just fitted together, was real nice and snug and uh, it just put it together in the bed of my truck. That was it. Here's the base of it all finally assembled. Uh, it's all held together with 3 8 inch, uh, 3 inch long lag screws. Uh, I had to drill the hole so that it would go through the wood without actually splintering it or cracking it. But it was actually a really solid build. I was very impressed with it. Um, it was pretty much uh, took me better part of an hour and I temporarily held everything together just using a truck bed strap just to get everything secured. Um, that was pretty much it on the final assembly. The only thing left was the desktop that was needed. Here you can see a three quarter inch plywood top uh, fitted to the workbench. I had the sheet uh, cut at Home Depot and I used the scraps to make the bottom shelf. Uh, everything was put on using uh, uh, wood screws. Um, I countersunk them so the heads of the screws would be sub flush to the uh, top of the uh, workbench. Then I went ahead and filled the uh, holes where the screws were sitting in with wood filler. Uh, this gives me a nice surface that's soft and pliable and won't scratch any work I'm doing on due to the metal head of the screws. Um, the only thing I had to do left now at this point was to sand down the top, make it smooth, and then apply a layer of varnish. Uh, that was pretty much it. If, So that's my workbench right there. It was nice. I was very impressed with it. I feel this thing is going to last for a very long time. There's no bobble, no play in any of the joints or anything like that. Um, pretty much, guys, go out and build something. Have fun. Um, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll post a link for the plans down in my uh, description. So you guys have a good afternoon. Uh, enjoy the day. It's a beautiful day here. Here's my cat, Grim. And uh, take it easy. Bye.